Thomas Edison has an office in Schenectady, and you could still pass by and see it. There's a statue of him right in front of that building. Schenectady was the first town that was fully lit by lights because GE started the first factory to begin building all the equipment we had to electrify the United States. And that occurred in the early 1900s. And from there, GE just continued on the journey. Obviously, the stuff that you've been working on here for the last 100 and something years, 120 years, is has always been that kind of edge research. But So why did you decide to formalize that into a process? Yeah, great question. The Edge Lab specifically looks at exponential technologies. We've done many things with technologies, but these are the exponential ones. The ones that are growing at a rate in which the performance grows and the cost drops. So if you look at these exponential technologies and you say, let's bring them into our world, into the world with the hardest problems in industries, what could you possibly do? You not only can influence new products, but you influence new business models. And that's the journey of the Edge Lab. The Edge Lab is basically, it's a candy store of technology. So we're figuring out what's some of the most interesting technology that's out there that GE hasn't realized the full potential of. And how can we translate that in a unique way that combines the power of what GE does, which makes great industrial assets, with the power of those technologies and really show a demonstration of how that's possible. One of the projects we're working on is leveraging augmented reality technology into the healthcare space. So actually being able to use the ability to project images into the real space on top of a patient that would show where actually their internal organs are to be able to take inexperienced users or users that are in remote locations and make sure that they are taking a proper scan or finding the appropriate part on the body to take the best images possible. Another mission that we're exploring in the Edge Lab is on telerobotics. And in this mission, we have a lot of equipment that is in harsh environments. So it might be an offshore wind turbine, so you have high wind, it would require somebody to take a boat out there, so difficult to get to and then oftentimes dangerous. And so what we're looking at is how to actually take robotic technology, so put a robot at the asset that can inspect and then perform some kind of action and then move the actual user to partner with them so that the robot becomes their eyes and then they can control through virtual reality that robot to perform that action or additional scanning. It's actually bringing together a number of technologies, so robotics, uh, streaming communication, we're going to have a lot of data moving back and forth potentially over large distances, and then virtual reality and user experience on the other end for the operator. GE's strategy and our differentiation in this new era of us becoming a digital industrial is really based on our history of expertise in the physics of what we make and what we do. And becoming a digital industrial means digital plus physical. So not layering digital on top of our physical world and not replacing our physical world with the digital understanding of it, but actually combining the digital plus the physical to get more than the sum of the parts that we could with an expertise or a background in either one. GE is a 125-year-old company, and yet here you are, you know, running this facility that is looking to the future. Why do you think GE continues to look for that next frontier? The reason it's a 127-year-old company is because it's had to actually invent itself numerous times. So part of its DNA is to understand the world and what's happening and to reinvent itself. G has changed itself as the dictates of demands from the business world as well as the industrial world, because at its core, it's always had the industrial flavor. This is just another transformation. It recognizes that we have exponential technologies that will make a difference, and it's transforming itself, because at the core, that's what G tends to do.